Hey guys, how you doing? It's Kutsik here bringing you another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go a couple, I want to go over a couple of reasons why you would leave a job if you already have a job. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I did a, I did a couple of calls this, the last couple of days and people were asking me, when should I leave my job and stuff like that? Obviously, you new, make sure you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. I make IT tech related stuff, system admin, desktop support, IT support. I do teach stuff as well. So like, yeah. Um, just follow me, rate, comment, subscribe, share my videos. I really appreciate that. All right. So um, reason number one why you leave a job, this is like the obvious one that people sometimes they overlook. Uh, you have no opportunity to grow. So basically you're in a job. You did like a year already. They haven't done it. Your manager hasn't done any anything to do with you. Like they, they, Normally when you have a good manager, they typically do one-on-one -on -one calls with you. And they go over your career path. They go over your career plan. They go over whether you, you want to move into something else or what do you want to do or what certifications you want to get. And you want what the, what if you want to stay with him or do you want to move to another department? Typically, your manager, if you have a good manager, I'm not saying every manager is like this. You have a good or a bad manager. Like bad managers, they, they tend not to do anything. Good managers, they tend to lead by example. They tend to coach you, they tend to mentor you. They actually help you get a better position in the future within the company itself, but sometimes you don't have a manager like that. So there's no room to grow. You're in trouble, basically. You can't really do much, right? So that's reason number one why you would you would leave a job. Number two would be they don't give you they don't give you salary increase. They don't give you bonuses. They give you absolutely nothing. It's just like, so I guess I'm working here to just do my job, I guess, right? You know, it's just, that's how it is in some jobs. They don't give you raises or bonuses. They don't give you anything after a year. They give you no incentives at all. So it's just like, why am I here, right? Number three is going to be they don't pay for training. They don't pay for certification. So if you're in a job that they pay for nothing and they expect you to pay out of your pocket, uh, that company is extremely cheap. <laughs> no offense to anyone. Um, I've been in jobs like that where they don't pay anything for me, which sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. You have to find a better job if they don't give you anything or pay anything, right? Um, number four would be, um, you don't, you don't have like, you know, you're doing the same thing over and over again. So you have no opportunity to do much. Basically you're doing password reset. And I'm, and I'm saying this because I have I done a call with somebody recently. He worked as IT support and all he had access to access to do was password reset. And that's all he did throughout the whole year. He's like, Kev, I love doing password reset, but it's like, is that really like IT support or am I just doing one thing? I'm like, yeah, you're just doing one thing. So you're really not, you have, you're not really learning anything. So you're going to have to leave that job, you know? So it's just like, what the heck is this, right? Another reason why you would leave a job would be your, your, your manager or the people you work with. If they suck, you may want to leave that job because you're not happy with the employer. You're not happy with what they have in that company. The environment is toxic. Like, me being in IT for a really long time, so I've been in IT for at least almost nine years, right? Like for me, like I, I and, and this is just me. This is not this is not you guys specifically me. Like if I had to take a look at like a small pay cut, but I have a good team and a good manager, I'm definitely gonna stay there, you know. Versus making extra money and I'm miserable, right? It's just it doesn't make any sense, right? For me, that doesn't make any sense. So those would be reasons why you would leave your job. Obviously, there's no room to grow. You're not getting a salary increase. There are no, there's no certifications. There's no training. There's no incentives. Absolutely nothing. Your team sucks. Your manager sucks. Obviously, these, these are things that why you will leave your job. But I tend to argue that if you're already at, if you're already in a job, and I, if anything that I listed today or talked about today can relate to you, I would stay there until I find a better job. I wouldn't just leave a job. It doesn't make any sense, right? So. Find a better job, find a better company. Obviously, not every company is going to be the best company in the world. We all have our, we all have companies that are not perfect. All the companies are not perfect. Usually, there's an issue here and there with each company that you work for, but at least you find something that is a lot better and you're a lot more happier versus being miserable, if that makes sense. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Saturday, and hopefully this helps you out. Um, make, I'm going to make more technical videos. I've been busy with other stuff, but... Um, you know where to reach me out to, reach me out on Discord or message me on LinkedIn. I will respond to you depending on how you message me. Don't be a little, don't be too aggressive, but you know, you know what I mean. All right. Have a good day. Take care, guys. Peace. Bye.